The Center for Military Airworthiness and Certification is actively engaged in the certification process of the new systems on Tejas Mark 1A, and majority of systems have already been certified, and only three remaining systems are now left to be certified, that will be over within the next two months. Hindustan Aeronautics is in advanced stage of discussions with the Philippines regarding the potential sale of 20 maritime variant of Dhruv Advanced Light Helicopters. Aiming to curb imports and manufacturing of cheap and substandard drones in the country, the center is planning to bring out guidelines to ensure standards and promote domestic production of top quality drones in the country. Scientists at IIT Bombay has developed a new type of nanomaterial that can turn 87% of the light that hits its surface into heat, which will now be used to make solar heaters for troops in high altitude regions. Indian Army and Indian Air Force will place a bulk order for indigenous light utility helicopter by early 2024, and the Indo-Russian CAMF 226 deal is now likely to be cancelled. Skyroot Aerospace has unveiled its Vikram 1 rocket, that is scheduled for a launch in early 2024. It is a multi-stage launch vehicle made up of all carbon fiber body and a 3D printed liquid engine, that is designed to transport payloads of up to 300 kilograms to low Earth orbits. As per latest information, the Indian Army will receive the first AH-64 Apache attack helicopter in February 2024, that will be deployed in the desert sector, and the delivery of all six Apaches would be completed by April 2024. As part of the deal, Boeing has trained six pilots and 24 technicians in the US. The Army has been pushing the case for 11 more Apaches, and the decision on additional Apaches would be taken by early 2024. The Army currently operates 75 Rudra attack helicopter, and 5 Prachand helicopter, and the bigger contract for 90 Prachand for the Army and 66 for the Air Force will be taken up by the Defense Acquisition Council next week. The Indian Air Force has already procured around 250-meter missiles for its 36 Rafale fleet, however, limiting the deployment of meteor missile only to the Rafale fleet is considered a handicap when enforcing aerial superiority, particularly due to the limited number of Rafale aircraft in the Indian Air Force. MBDA had refused to allow integration of meteor missile with Su-30 and Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets that are equipped with Russian and Israeli radars respectively. The Indian Air Force is embarking on two key initiatives, that includes replacing the Russian radar on the Su-30 with Virupaksa radar, and replacing the Israeli radar on the Tejas Mark 1A aircraft with Utam radar, that will pave the way for the integration of the meteor missiles on both these aircraft. Tanbo Imaging Private Limited has released a video of its Bloodhound long-range thermal imaging binoculars, that will be a game-changer in enhancing border surveillance capabilities even in low visibility conditions, and a valuable asset for tactical surveillance operations. It can efficiently detect a NATO-sized target at distances of 3 km. The device is also integrated with GPS a compass and an optional laser range finder for enhancing its target acquisition capabilities. Pakistan Air Force has released a video of its Indus Shield Air Exercise, which reveals an interesting tactical scenario of the exercise, showing JF-17 targeting the Indian S-400 system using the CM-400 supersonic missiles. The video shows JF-17 and J-10C employing resources and anti-S-400 tactics in the exercise, and once the protective cover offered by the Indian S-400 is lifted, Pakistani aircraft will undertake bolder battlefield interdictions and air-to-ground strikes on Indian land-based targets. Today's Top 3 Comments 